What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Amani Jolena and I'm here with a video. So from the title, I'm sure you can see this video is basically all about the things that I wish people expressed to me and told me prior to actually quitting my 9 to 5 job and solely just going after entrepreneurship and you know just focusing on my business and things of that nature. So this is going to be a super quick video. Literally, I do have some running around to do today. But for the most part, I'm literally just going to be home uh, taking care of, uh, you know, some workload, you know, being a mom, all that good stuff. So that's why I look so just like dressed down. Um, that's, that's why. <laughs> but the very first thing that I want to mention is consistency. When you become an entrepreneur, you have so much time on your hands. You are not necessarily obligated to do things when the boss says do them. Um, so when it comes to consistency, you can lack because you're not on a time schedule. You're not punching in to a clock. Um, and you know, on payroll and things. I mean, you're on payroll for your business, but it's very different verse clocking in and working under underneath someone so consistency is key in coming up with a schedule to get things done and to start tasks and execute tasks and finish certain things is going to be your best friend because it'll help you stay on top of everything versus falling off and then having to come up with a new schedule and a new calendar and things like that uh, so being consistent oh i wish someone told me because now it's like i've you know I've, I've done all like when i tell you guys i have been consistent one moment i fell off the next consistent felt like that was you know that was what i was doing and i'm sure you guys can see as far like if you've been a part of my youtube family you guys see some months i'm like super consistent with videos and then the next month you may not see me for four weeks and that's not necessarily the right thing to do um so consistency is key the next one is time management time there's so much time you literally have to put in a business if you want to see it grow if you want to see it thrive you have to put time into it just like when you are working a nine to five you have to put the time into your business or the business you are working for to get a paycheck it's the exact same thing so just know when you do not work you do not get paid when you don't when you aren't consistent you're not going to make that much money that month so it, it's all a trial and error thing for one but for two it's all about just consistency and time management the next thing is not is knowing that you're not job free when i when i first started the video i mentioned obligations and things like that when i first quit my nine to five i thought i was like I can do whatever I want. I can go on vacation. I can go to the beach. But it's it's not it's not that simple. Because you still have to bring in funds. You still have to bring in money. You still have to pay bills. Bills do exist. Bills are still very much so real. Uh, so you you have to realize that you're not necessarily drop job free. But one thing, the perk about it is your job is not like the typical job so if you want a certain schedule this week or you know you need you need to be free on saturday sunday you can set your work schedule up for your business so that you do have those additional that additional downtime that you do need <sighs> one of the next big things that i want to mention is longer shifts in computer work especially if you have an online business you're going to spend so many hours on a computer every single week so many hours and it might even be more hours than you spent at your nine to five when you had one but just be mindful it's for a good cause but looking at a computer screen has been my life for the past few years now and it's bittersweet the computer is my best friend at this point and i i can i can work a computer down okay safari internet explorer chrome like I, I know all the ins and outs of the internet just because i'm on it so much but the computer is your best friend now the next thing is something that didn't really bother me but i noticed uh, is being a homebody when you own a business it's that's my dog running around in the back as you can see but when you own a business you and, and especially if you don't you know if you are an up-and-coming business and you don't have this super big um like 
you know you don't have employees that work for you or anything like that um you typically just work at home or you may have a home office or you may even have office space and basically you become a homebody now i was already somewhat of a homebody because i genuinely just i adore my own space i adore my own you know my own four walls and to just not necessarily be alone but just have my me time and you know you know you guys know i have a son now and things like that so i am just like a stay-at-home mom i you know i go out some here and there but i typically just like to stay home but when you <laughs> quit that nine to five and you are a small business that is up and coming to be maybe a, you know a million dollar corporation or a billion dollar business things like that you will become a homebody or an office body and that's when you're literally just at home working you're in and out of work um especially working from home and, and having a son and things like that i noticed that one hour i'm working one hour i'm taking care of him the next hour i'm working the next you know i'm taking care of him especially when he doesn't go to daycare and i don't have those consistent nine hours to get things done it's just a lot of in and out but that was like me rambling really but being a homebody is something that you know you'll get used to over time because like i said the computer is literally going to be your best friend especially if you have an online business uh, but typically everything is based on social media instagram facebook things like that so it's it's common and then the very last thing that i want to tell you guys is your second best friend is going to be an office supply store such as like a staples um we i'll even just consider on uh, like walmart um you know convenience stores like that uh for office supply things so you're gonna need printer you're one day you're gonna realize you know one day you're gonna realize oh i need staples or i need a stapler or i need a hole puncher it's just gonna be like super miscellaneous things that you're going to remember at random even though let's say you were just at uh staples or office max the next day you'll be like oh shoot i need sticky tack for some reason or i need double-sided printer paper like it, it's so much stuff but that will be your second best friend as opposed to your computer when it does come to your business and you know places that you'll always probably be visiting things like that once you do decide to leave your nine to five so this video was more of a fun video to let you guys know some of the things you can possibly expect when you do decide to take that leap or you know go down and you know see what your entrepreneurship journey will look like in the future but i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys like my new setup i don't know if you can tell i moved i moved some months back that's why i was like super inconsistent because i was getting used to moving i was getting used to being a mom i was getting used to being a single mom like it was just so much that i'll i'll eventually open up to you guys when the time is right but yeah i'm in a, i'm in a, i'm in such a better place in my life as far as being happier as far as getting things done when they're supposed to be done and so forth but i hope you guys love this video and i will see you in my next video and for those of you who ask me am i doing vlogmas i am technically doing vlogmas because i'm trying to upload a video every single day within the weekday not the weekends but the weekday um but i'm not necessarily calling it vlogmas it's just like me I like a new uploading schedule for the next month or so and see how i like it but it's super easy just picking up a camera editing it real quick editing it real quick and then uploading it to youtube so we'll see how that goes and see how long i can necessarily do this so i love you all and i will see you in my next video don't forget about the webinar i'll have a video uploading soon all about that in case some of you guys don't even know i'm having a webinar but now you know so we'll talk to you later and i will see you in my next video see you later